So, for our first week at Bon Appetit, we spent about 80% of the time in the same conference room, and here are my impressions. Totally overwhelmed. We received so much information sitting in that little conference room, and it all needs to go right up here. Yeah. I was really pleasantly surprised by the community feel of the company. And Albaccio, the CEO, took us out to dinner and was ridiculous, and then took us out for coffee. And Maisie Greenall, the vice president, spent three entire days, I'm not kidding, in a conference room with us, teaching us Bon Appetit Management Company 101. So thanks to both of you. Honestly, video blogs, but I had to get over that. <laughs> And I think just in general, all the media stuff, this idea that I'm going to be representing a company wherever I go, and if I say something wrong, shall we say, it, it doesn't just reflect on me, it reflects on the entire company. So that's a lot of pressure for someone who's been on the job for like five days. <laughs> Farm-raised salmon, which is what we mostly eat, is pink because they dye it. Oh my goodness. I wish I had understood as a student that Bon Appetit really wants to make a difference. So students, if you want to make a change in the way your food is produced, talk to people at Bon Appetit on campus. Really. Having the CEO of Bon Appetit tell us, the three fellows, that the work we are going to do this year is really important to him and to the company. And just feeling confident that I'm actually going to be able to influence the way food is produced for Bon Appetit. It's huge.